in LA, if you don't hit, then everybody out here hit, right? Like you be going, you go to a studio, and I'm like, just Dane Taylor, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, what's up, Kale? What you doing, bro? How you doing, man? Damn, man, thanks for letting me work on your album. Yeah, man, who else you working with? Shit, 1500. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like, now play something damn I'm like, I don't even want to play that. <laughs> you know, like working with everybody, you don't even need me, bro. Am I lying? Yeah, for real. Like, dudes would yeah. tell you that, yeah. hey, yeah, 50 Lorenz just left. I'm like, oh, shit. Man. <laughs> right. I ain't even heard it. You were phonics? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm in there. I'm in there sitting playing beats for Adam. You know what I'm saying? So Nipsey, Nipsey don't pick his beats. Adam is a dude who pick his beats. So... I'm in there playing beats, and I hear, what's up, dang? I look at this fucking Phonics. Phonics, Trey songs, fucking everybody. You don't want to call this producer in LA. I stopped wanting to play beats, because I know Phonics was listening to this. So I'm like, oh shit, I don't even want to play no more. Like, I really wanted, I wanted to leave, I swear to God. Nipsey Hustle, I'm in there with everybody that y'all see on the fucking internet. All these Crip homies, all the Jay Stone in there, everybody. And just because fucking Phonics was in the kitchen, I didn't want to play no more beats. I didn't care about playing beats for Nipsey. I didn't care about playing beats for Adam, for nobody, for Pac-Man, none of them. It was my producer peer that I didn't want to play beats for. Because I know he comparing, we, we, we compete with each other. He like, oh shit, damn. So now I know where Dame is at, okay. I didn't want to play no more beats, I was happy to leave. And I was like, all right, bro, all right, Phonics, hey, hey, see you later, bro. I swear to God, bro, I cannot make this up. That's what L.A. is. That's what this community could be. I'm pretty sure y'all be hearing me on the reviews, and a lot of people probably join because of the reviews that I do for everybody else. But this community is what is going to make you guys better. The L.A. community is what made us better. You guys are in the L.A., so you can't be a part of the community. So we're going to simulate the L.A. community through Monster a and &R. What's good with you? Shit over here, cooking up some Chinese food, you know? Nah, what the? <laughs> got some fried rice going on, you know, man. Yeah. With, the... with that little ass spoon? I think it's a rubber spoon, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, my dog? How you doing? I'm chilling, man. Hey. Hey, so you fucked around and got us both on an A3C panel. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so you got you got to do this panel with me. We just I just got accepted. All right, I got you. October 10th, so you gotta put that shit on your calendar so don't fly out the country or nothing. Alright, that's funny you said that because I was definitely about to be out too. Nah man. October 10th. Uh, October 10th. It's a it's a Thursday. It's um yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna send you all the info once I talk to the event coordinator or whatever, the director or some shit. Okay. So we're gonna be yeah. talking talking about like life life in the industry as a sign producer. Okay. Well, uh, I got you, bro. All right, that's a bet. Yeah, yeah, what you been on? Man, shit chilling in the stool right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm you know I'm Phonics? Now. I left about an hour ago. You want to say what's up? <laughs> yeah, I got my studio right there, you know, you know what I mean? Ooh, I feel you. We over here right now. We in the stool with the homies, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, you got some motherfuckers. Is that the, uh, um, is that one of the name? Is that a name for it? Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a name. Yeah. We just been so busy, bro. We've been so slammed, man. man. You ain't gotta tell me, man. We all do the same shit, dog. Facts. Girl, man, I already know how that shit get, man. I've been trying to play my hardest out and shit. Oh, man, you already know, bro. We ain't playing over here, man. Hey, club, man. You already know. At all, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. We just, you know, living life, loving what we do, man. Bless, you know. Man, I feel you, bro. That's facts. One hundred. Okay. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you. Yeah, send me some shit, man. All right, I got you. I I'll update you once I get some more info. Okay, cool. You said October tenth, right? Yeah, October tenth. All right, man. I'll be there. All right, bro. This shit, dude. Then you see niggas on that shit, and like I gotta get it back on my shit. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna hit you like I'm gonna get my shit. Yeah, yeah. I told RJ, I was at the studio, I was like, hey man, if you put this song out, I'm gonna start back doing music. Like, for real. If, you, if that shit really go on the album, and it was like, shit, nigga, you might as well start, because that shit going. <laughs> and I was like, damn, man. I made a promise, because I was like, damn, like, if this shit really come out, like, I gotta fucking start back working on music, man. But like, yeah, I ain't been working on no music, bro, for like, <laughs> but 
I'm fully committed to it now. So, shit. Don't worry. I had another session on, another session on Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I'll be in this bitch, bro. I just talked to my boy. That once this nigga Eric Bellinger get off this little, um, little, uh, little campaign he on right now, I'll be back in there with him. Okay. <laughs> I've had enough of you this week, man. <laughs> I do a song. Make a Look. Phoenix beat Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> bro, put all his peepers on there. Oh, that's fucked up. Look, <laughs> bro, that's I'm, working with <laughs> I'm gonna give you a bar right there. So I'm working with Jenny Kiss, right? Yeah. We do a song called Kiss My Ass back in the day. Bro. So fucking he puts it out. I had a manager named uh, Success at the time. He was like, shout out to Success Phoenix for the beat. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been fucked up ever since, man. Like, yeah, he started it. Thank you, Jenny, because I love the locks and all y'all. Y'all showed me love when I went to Yonkers, but fuck, man. My name is Phonix. It's Phonix. No E, nigga. Didn't sign a contract. When I started with them, I was never under a contract starting. But when I left, they tried to make me sign a contract. And in the contract, it stated that by signing this contract, you agree that you are not owed any money from verbal or written commitments or promises. And I didn't sign it. I just left. It was an emotional de decision for me to decide not to take any money. Oh, man, he's like, man, give me the phone, man. He's like, yo, man, this fine. It's fine. I'm like, yeah. He's like, man, you got to come to the studio right now. I'm like, who is this? He's like, this is J. Cole. <laughs> I was like, um, can I go? She was like, just go. <laughs> <laughs> so I hopped in the car. I'm flying. I'm geeked. I'm like, oh my God. Like, J. Cole just called me at 3 in the morning. There's got to be something. And that's how no remind was at. Because I learned in the studio. I didn't go to school. I learned sitting in the studio, watching this fool, watching him. You know what I'm saying? Going to, going to the studio with him. You know, sitting, you know, watching what his boy doing, and I'm learning. Sitting in the studio with Chris Brown and just watching him communicate with the end. That's, we had the privilege of being able to have that. A lot of producers around the world can't go to the top recording studio. So I created a platform that allows creatives to come to some of the best recording studios in LA for a weekend. So that's what Monster Sessions is. And so how many have you, how many of these sessions have you done? We've done, this is our 36th class. We've done 36 classes in three years. You know, when I created it, I thought it was gonna be small. I was like, I'm gonna create workshops for LA. We gonna just have five or six producers come from LA and we gonna do little workshops, like something small, right? One of the first people that paid came from Oregon. Like, right, and then we had another, I'm looking at my phone getting the notifications, Miami, New York. I'm getting scared. Cause nobody from LA came. It was everybody outside of LA, Phoenix, Arizona. Denver, Colorado, St. Louis, Missouri. So, yeah, it, we did 36 classes, and I thought it was small, and it just kind of like, kind of blew up, you know what I'm saying? And so now, you know, and this is 36 classes with no paid promotion, no marketing, it's all organic. You know, we small, our classes range from anywhere from about eight to 12 producers, eight to 12 songwriters. And I look forward to the future. Just recently, in the past four months, we've been in, we've talked. We got our first sponsor, which is Waze Audio, uh, about three months ago. Uh, we just got a partnership with Arturia a month ago, so we're able to provide bundles through Arturia. We're able to provide plug-in bundles for producers and songwriters. Uh, when I get back to LA, I got a meeting with Native Instruments. I got a meeting with Roland. I'm talking to the presidents of these companies for a company, a company I created on my own in my room. You know what I'm saying? Novation, focus right, avid, you know, so, you know, sky's the limit for what we're doing.